I'm Cindy from BeeDanceWear.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to take our lace crossover skirt. So you can see this so where it crosses over in the front and turn it into this look. If you don't want coverage in the front but you just want a little sheer something in the back this just might be the video for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that crossover skirt You'll want to pin it on the girl to determine how wide you want this to be. So you'll want to go ahead, once it's on the girl, before you've done anything with it, you'll want to put pins in it marking how much do you want to see, how far back do you want to cut. Now you're going to take our crossover skirt and you're going to, where it comes together here, just take a pair of scissors. Don't cut the seam, actually cut the lace. You're going to cut, let's see if you can see that, between the band, up, between the band and the lace right here. You're going to cut the skirt portion of it and we're just going to go ahead and cut that open all the way to the spot that you have decided that you want it to end and then go back another few inches and keep cutting. And then do the same to the other side. You want to make sure that it ends up even and you're leaving the band intact because that overlock seam on the band you're going to go back and you will zigzag it down. There we go. We've got that cut open now. So we're going to take from the inside. This is the inside of it and we're going to Fold it so you can get to the stitching of the band. You're going to fold it back once, fold it back twice, and then pin it into place. Now if you don't like the look of a fold, you can change it differently, but a little pleat there is actually a really cute thing. And pin that into place. So you're just basically putting pleats on each side to kind of fold it back um, as if it was like a curtain and you folded it back towards you. Now let's go to the other side. You want to make sure that the pleats or the folds are going the same direction because you don't want one, them all going to the right. If one goes to the right, you want the other side to go to the left. And then we're going to go ahead and fold that. And we're going to do two folds there also and we're going to pin those into place. You want to make sure that when you fold the fabric nothing slips out from the other side and then you're just going to go ahead and put it on your machine and zigzag right on that edge. Don't make that waistband smaller, just catch where the original seam is and where that seam, original seam is I'm doing it in a nice bright color so you can see it. See how we zigzagged on the band? Yet yeah, if we fold open the band, you don't see it. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And make sure and take those pins out if your machine doesn't allow for you to go over pins. Mine does, but I like to not take a chance because you never know. In the middle of sewing something, you definitely don't want it to, to end up breaking a needle. Okay, so. Now when you fold it front ways, um, you can see, you don't see the seam, you just see those pleats. But now we have this band where we cut. We're going to want to take that and fold it down and sew it. So let's go ahead and do that. Fold it underneath. You want a nice clean line. And just zigzag right across. Use a stretch stitch if you have it, if not zigzag, but remember to go back, stretch it out. And I used a bright pink so you should be able to see this. If you're using the same color, you cannot see that bright pink line and now you have a band that is finished off with pleats down the side. So if you're looking for a skirt where you have a little bit of coverage but you really can see your legs but your hips and your butt is covered a little and still have lots of flow, this just might be the video for you. Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're going to have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you want to get our free, complete 
dance costume DIY guide, click right here or go to bedancewear.com slash DIY guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video and remember, be original, be colorful, bedancewear.com.